They said, then what kind of best friend takes the life of his friend? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to him, O oh Ibrahim, have you ever seen a lover that doesn't want to meet his beloved? I recently heard a story of Ibrahim alayhi salam and immediately I thought of fall asleep. And I just wanted to share it with all of you. It's a story of the final moments of Ibrahim alayhi salam when the angel of death came to him. And the angel of death came to Ibrahim alayhi salam and said to him, your time is up. It is time for you to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Ibrahim alayhi salam said, I want to talk to Allah. When Ibrahim alayhi salam spoke to Allah, he said, Oh Allah, am I not Khalilullah? Am I not the best friend of Allah? Allah said, Yes, you are the best friend of Allah. He said, Then what kind of best friend takes the life of his friend? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to him, Oh Ibrahim, have you ever seen a lover? That doesn't want to meet his beloved? Have you ever seen a lover who does not want to meet his beloved? Meaning Allah is saying, I want to meet you, O Ibrahim. Don't you want to meet me? <laughs> and Ibrahim السلام, he said, Then take me, take my soul. Because he wants to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a lot of people they look at Palestine and they say, Why is Allah allowing this to happen? Why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowing this situation to continue? And number one, Allahu A'lam. Allah knows best. And Allah is the most wise and He has a plan for everything. But it could be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just loves these people. And He is eager to meet these people. That we have seen their iman. We have seen their faith in the face of this calamity that has come over them. We have seen the way they react, that the father closes the eyes of his daughter, and he says to her, send my salam to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa We have seen their faith, and we have seen others who have left faith for much less. I knew a person who said, if I were to be religious, I would love to be Muslim. But one time I had a physics exam and I prayed to Allah or to God that He would give me success. And I failed the physics exam. So I struggled to have faith in Allah. The slightest calamity comes over people and they turn their backs. And they say, we cannot have faith in a God who has allowed me to go through this calamity. And the people who have the most right to say that, the people of Palestine, their faith only increases. فَزَادَهُمْ imana. That the people have said to them, all of the people have gathered against you. All of the superpowers of the world have gathered against you. فَزَادَهُمْ imana, And their faith only increases. And not only has their faith increased, but it has become contagious. That the people of the world, they see Palestine and they say, How? How is this religion? How is this way of life that their faith is increasing while their difficulties and calamities are increasing as well? And so they have turned towards the Quran. I know some people at uh, Al Furqan Foundation, which is the company that uh, produces the clear Quran and distributes it to. Muslims and non-Muslims, they have said to me that their demand for the Qur'an was around 300 boxes per month. They were handing out about 15,000 Qur'ans. They said ever since the situation of Palestine, they have upped the demand from 300 boxes to 3,600 3, boxes. Meaning it's a 12x increase, like 150,000 plus copies of the Qur'an coming off the shelves every single month. People want to know, what is the faith of the Palestinians? That Allah has used them to fulfill His promise. يُرِيدُونَ لِيُطْفِئُوا نُورَ اللَّهِ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَاللَّهُ مُتِمُّ نُورِهِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ that the disbelievers, they desire that they would stamp out the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah will fulfill His light 
even if the disbelievers dislike it. And the fulfillment of this light is that Islam enters every household on this earth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used the Palestinians for a great cause. For the protection of Al-Aqsa, to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of His love for them, and to wake up the rest of the world. And inshallah, when Iman and Taqwa have spread to every single household in this world, we will find nothing but bliss on this planet. So I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps the Palestinians, that He helps them in every single way, that He allows us to help them however we can. I'll put a couple of charities down in the description that I trust for sending aid to Palestine. If you can send aid as well, then Allah will only reward you for it. 